All right, so we got NHL 25 official gameplay trailers. Go to video. All right, here we go. Welcome. I'm Mike Inglehart. That's some NHL the uh, gameplay. NHL 25 gameplay deep dive. Today, we're going to take a look at Ice Cube, Chell's new logic-driven gameplay system, okay. and its suite of features, including the next evolution of Chell's skating system in next-gen vision control, empowered AI's complete overhaul of our AI player system, okay. and the new set of reactive action animations. Plus, the dynamic and deadly new skill-based one-timers. What does that mean? The game of hockey is evolving. Players are getting better, smarter, and more technical than ever before. I mean, true. Which is why we turn to them and our cover stars, the Hughes brothers, as inspiration for our latest gameplay innovation. I mean, it's, Ice Cube. listen, it's going to happen. Like, Next -gen vision control every sport, like, you know, gets Charles better every single year. That allows you to create more time and space on the ice by providing fresh abilities, improvements, Ooh, and a wait a minute. He got ankle breaker? Ups the responsiveness, explosiveness, and oh, expression bro, that's on the like, ice bro, that's like a stop and, and go maestro. Play. Hold up. Now, walk the blue line to help create space on the play, square up to the puck carrier, thread the needle through an opponent's defense, and stay locked on goal for better shot off. Bro, this looks good. I'll be honest for with you, example, bro. This looks really good. When next gen vision control is active and the player is in possession of the puck in the offensive zone. They now skate with the net as the target. It, it looks like this very like like the like the movement looks very strict as well. I like that a lot. Skate and attack the net, shoot the puck or pass from anywhere on the offensive. No, okay, that was a bad shot. I should have passed it. More At least way. pass it back. If you are not in possession of the puck on the offensive oh, that was side, nice. the player will target the puck when next gen vision control is active. This allows for more accurate pass pickups and blends nicely with the new skill based one timers. Man, this looks really good. Next gen vision control gives you more control to face up to Bro, the puck. Really be on the, ooh, ooh. Helping you keep better Can gaps like start fighting in the or zone. Or no. This allows for more predictable and responsive positioning, creating opportunities to disrupt passing lanes or poke check the puck off the opposition side. I can't lie, one thing that I used to do. Next gen vision control ultimately gives you more <laughs> control on both sides of the puck. One thing I used to do back then. Fluid skating experience that both after like the opponent would pass the puck, I used to intentionally like, you know, like hit him or whatever to start, start a fight. System, heightening CPU skaters awareness of other players and positioning on the ice, giving them more fluid and helpful reads to execute in a true to life fashion. On top of that, all of Chell's end zone strategies have been rebuilt from the ground up to allow skaters to better utilize open space. This, the skating in this game does look good, though. I will admit threats. that. It looks way better. Also revamped rush plays yeah, I, I think it looks way more just like fluid possession. and like flexible. The AI players now read plays better and glide into offensive positions instead of just crashing the far post, meaning you'll have more options each time you enter the zone. Okay, so the AI is actually pretty smart now. Okay, cool. That's reactive good. Reactive actions like collision avoidance animations allow players to swim past one another. Ooh, that was smooth. That was smooth. Like the pros, that was smooth. No longer running into and getting tangled up with each other. Plus, all new panic turns let players quickly change direction and use their stick to take away space if they are beaten on the ice. Oh, okay. No, that's a nice feature. Players that's a nice feature. And dynamic. Together, all of this means that our on ice players are now more aware of what is happening. Okay, no, no, play, that's actually pretty, a that's a pretty new feature. I like that a lot. And that's a nice feature. Moment moment flow of gameplay. That's Thanks a nice feature. I like that a lot. I like that. Opportunities. The new skill based one timers really shine. Anchored by a new in game visual indicator that identifies a Wait, he hit that from that far out? Skill based one -timer. I never hit those. When passing to a teammate, you'll need to input the shot control as the puck arrives. Oh. The timing window to nail a skill-based one-timer is dynamic and takes into account how fast the puck is traveling. So as, as soon as you pass it, they automatically like hit it. Okay. If timed correctly, you'll unleash the skill-based one-timer, which is more okay. powerful and accurate. I, I like that one-time thing. I, I, like, I like that. I like the that. The shot's accuracy drops, raising the stakes and making the action all the more exciting. Thank you for watching the NHL 25 Gameplay Deep Dive. We're excited to see how you take advantage of Ice Q and its ability to create time and space on both ends of the ring. Okay. Stay tuned for more info on presentation, gameplay okay, you modes, know what? and more. Hey, first of all, shout out to EA because, you know, to be honest with you, like, um, I reacted to, like, the last NHL trailer. And um, I said before, I was like, you know, it's, it's going to be kind of hard to, like, um, add. I mean, it's not hard, but it's going to be, like, kind of, like, you know, um, well, yeah, it's going to be, like, a little hard to, like, try to, like, you know, implement new factors, in, in, like, into this game, you know, because there's, there's been so many... There's been so many like you know uh, NHL games you know that EA has and like and I said this with other sports too. It's, it's gonna be kind of hard to like you know 
add new features to like NBA 2K and Madden and all these other, you know, sports games because, you know, um, they are sports games. You know, you can't just like give, give a person superpowers or whatever. But um, I mean, bro, in this game right here, bro, like I see a lot of like, you know, cutting edge technology that I wasn't really expecting. Like, so to be honest with you, like the whole like, like the skating itself, like the, like the, um, like the stop and go, how players are able to like, you know, uh, just skate and then stop and make like these uh, sharp turns, stuff like that, that you actually see in real life. Uh, like the actual movement, um, they definitely improved on that. Um, another thing like the like the panic mode or whatever to where like, you know, let's say like that you're skating, whatever you're on offense. And then, you know, it was me like a turnover. You're able to, like, to hurry up and like shift your body into like uh, now back in like defense mode. Now, to be honest with you, that's a that's a really good thing. So movement in the movement category, they did a really good job on that one. Um, the whole one timer thing. I like that a lot because you can hurry up and like pass to somebody and they could already like have their like stick, you know, cocked back and just hit it like automatically. So to be honest with you, I do like that a lot. That one time thing is nice. So, I mean, to be fair, bro, I do like how EA is definitely, you know, coming up with more ideas and, you know, def they're definitely sharpening like their tools whenever it comes to like, you know, the actual sport. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Comment down below. We have to think about this. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel and peace.